Hey everybody, this is Eva again and unfortunately we have lockdown in, here in Helsinki now because of the Covid virus and uh, so I will not have any Christmas stu open studios or workshops before Christmas. Everything is cancelled but uh, luckily the shops are open so uh, there is a wonderful uh, Christmas market at the National Hall downtown in Helsinki by local uh, gallery and uh, I will take you there in the end of the video but before that I want to introduce a couple of interesting places in my neighborhood and also the way I stroll down to the city because it's really nice way. I also want to thank Helsinki City for providing the pictures because I, th I think it's nice to put some historical pictures in here too because just you to see how it used to look like here. And even for people who live in Kallio, it's nice to see pictures how it used to be. The first building I'm introducing you to is Ihantola. And Ihantola, is, uh, in English, it's called The Wonderful World. And it was designed by O.A. Koskinen, and he was a master of Art Nouveau architecture, a building. Uh, not architecture, because he wasn't the architecture, he was a master builder. Ihantala was built by the housing company owned by workers. And the first residents moved to the Ihantala in 1907. All the apartments in Ihantala were small and only 48 of the 85 apartments had bathrooms. And the resident had the common, common bathrooms in the staircases in each floor. And it was renovated in 1981, and that's when everyone got their bathrooms in the apartments. And then there's this landmark, Kallio Church. It's a Lutheran church. In Swedish it's called Berihelskyrka. And uh, it uh, was designed by Lars Sonk, uh, who was also uh, the architect for the library of Kallio. And it's all, well, I love Art Nouveau and I love national romanticism uh, in buildings that we have all around in Helsinki. And this is one of the uh, great samples of it. Uh, it's a massive church and, and it was completed in 1912. So, Kallio is, has a very short history on the it, it used to be farmland and then the workers district with wooden houses and now first stone houses and small apartments and from the church you can just walk stroll down downhill to Pitkasilda Longbrun uh, and this is also a landmark in Helsinki because it divided the downtown from the workers district. And uh, in in Longbru, uh, in uh, in Pitkasilda, actually it's called in English it's Longbridge, but it's not long at all. It's only because uh, there used to be another bridge that was shorter, so that's why it's still called Longbridge. It's just cute. And that was also built first in 1912, the stone bridge. Before that, there was a wooden bridge. And now uh, all the uh, left trade unions and leftist party headquarters used to be in Kallio side of uh, the bridge. And for many, many dec uh, decades, the uh, long uh, bridge was considered as a divider symbol of the gap between the left and right. And from long, uh, from uh, Pitkasilta I just walk straight down and then I come to Aleksandarinka, to Alexander Street and that's where Pohjola building is. And Pohjola, uh, in, in English it's northern land which means an important mythical location in the Finnish national epic Kalevala. But Pohjola used to be a headquarters of the Pohjola Insurance Company. 
and it was designed by Gesselius Lindgren Saarinen architect uh, firm in 1899 to 1901. It is a permanent uh, example of the Finnish national romantic architecture. Gesselius Lindgren and Saarinen were well known uh, of their pavilion, the Finnish pavilion they built for the Paris World Expo, Expo in 1900. And the pavilion was also Art Nouveau style. And they are, they are well known for the uh, building the National Museum of Helsinki to which I will most certainly introduce to you some other time. Elias Saarinen is quite famous in the United States because he moved there and he was the, uh, he designed the campus of the Cranbrook College that was intended to be American new Bauhaus. And uh, I'm back to Saarinen, so his son Eero is very famous in America because he's the architect behind the gateway arch in St. Louis, Missouri, and also one of my favorite buildings, which is World Trade Center. Uh, no, not, uh, sorry, Transworth Flight Center in uh, JFK Airport, which is so beautiful, futuristic building. Yeah, but back to Pohjola building. So building is national romantic style, and it's decorated with sculptures of uh, figures from the Finnish National Airport Kalevala. And when it was built, it was renewed at a Finnish natura, national naturalistic style. But from the exterior, it may have been influenced by uh, contemporary Ar American buildings. I'm going to put a link down which tells about that because I didn't know that and I find it very interesting. So. And now we come into the market and, and this is a must go in Helsinki and I will put the link to their um, website too because they sell online. Thank you for watching this 
video and next week next week's video is done by Hui and we will be visiting Johanna Gulik's and uh, a shop uh, in Helsinki and uh, Afro Mama in Kallio. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>